We all get a brief window of opportunity on this planet. And while you're catching up on sleep this morning, consider this. There's a snail out there, right now, risking everything to cross the largest desert of a sidewalk it's ever seen. Why? Because it beats hiding in its shell at home? Or maybe it was inspired by every snail that ever successfully reached the other side. I don't know. I'm not really sure what motivates a mollusk. But I do know this. No snail has any idea what's on the other side of that sidewalk. All he knows is that they have a shell that can be cracked. And maybe not the best reaction time in the animal kingdom. But still they go. On the off chance they might actually connect with something greater than themselves. Maybe become one of those snails that inspires another snail. Now you may say this is dumb. Snails don't surf. Well, neither did any of us. Until we did. Uh, and whatnot, and they factor heavily into not only the storyline, uh, but also the gameplay. Your interactions with them uh, will affect the story, will affect your relationships, and can in turn affect the gameplay, because these characters are responsible for providing you with new weapons, uh, new passive skills, and new active perks that we saw there on the weapon wheel. Things like a mobile store, things like calling in a hit squad, things like uh, cutting the phone lines for a certain amount of time, things like uh, bribing the police for a certain amount of time, a lot of really cool... I, I, skill is kind of a weird word, but they're more like perks. Uh, because it's not directly modifying Lincoln, but it's modifying what he can do and how he can approach situations. I walked through this exact uh, little trailer, this exact way, stealthed that first guy, and then went ham on these dudes, and you'll get to see that in a second. What I found interesting uh, as well is how the game is structured. Um, there's a bunch of different districts in the game, and you will approach them... Uh, however you see fit. Obviously, there is an overarching plot structure. One of the strengths of Mafia as a series is its linearity um, in storytelling and therefore its emphasis on plot and production value and really getting you uh, from A to Z in this character's tale. But you will be able to tackle multiple districts at a time and approach them in, in not only a variety of ways within each mission, but a variety of orders from those missions. It's even possible to be uh, dealing with two districts at once. So if you're getting bored with one or want to move to a different area, that is fine. You can have two kind of balanced at the same time. Uh, the district that I played uh, had two different rackets. One uh, was already completed for me, and that culminated in a bathhouse takeover. You're looking to build up uh, different headquarters, you're looking to take over the districts, and then you will assign those hideouts, those headquarters, and the districts to one of your three underbosses. And based on how much and how often you assign those to them, they will reward you, or they may hate you. So you'll get new guns, like I mentioned, and new... Uh, either perks or new levels of those perks, or they will become pissed off with you, and that will change the dynamics of the story. Now, I wasn't able to suss out exactly where that would end up by the end of the game, uh, but the, the, the they sounded like they are leaning towards possibly uh, places where maybe one of the bosses either betrays you or disavows you or decides that they are no longer going to be on your side, which I think could be super interesting. There's going to be many different endings, uh, a lot of permutations based on how you interact with those underbosses. But back to the mission structure uh, and sort of the game design, these districts house these different rackets. And the one that I focused on was a construction racket. And my goal was to cause enough damage to said racket so that I could draw out the leader of the racket, which would then get me closer and closer uh, to the Italian mob boss who I'm trying to eventually take down as Lincoln. This is a big battle between the black mob who Lincoln joins after returning from the Vietnam War uh, and the Italian mob who are very, very feisty as this gameplay and this demo showed me. Um, so I would do things to the construction racket 